I, I was doing this exercise and he takes me on the side and he goes, listen, Bond, I want you to do me, uh, do me a favor and please, for the entire week, every day, when you use your subway, when you come from your house to the class, I don't want to say be rude, but just just say what you think you want to say. <laughs> To the people, if somebody's bothered, just tell them the truth. You and could have got you punched in your face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Today we're proud to present to you international actor Bond McGabishvili. <laughs> Did I butcher that? Yeah, yeah, a nice. little bit. Tell the fans what it's really how, how it's how really pronounced. Pronounce so uh, it's Gabishvili. Yeah, there you okay. go. Now you got it. Thank you for being here, giving us the time of day. It's an honor to have you here. Yes, yes. No, man, thank Bob. you, guys. Thank you. I, you know, everybody's talking about this show in Brooklyn. So I was like, yeah, and, and Stevie's my boy. Benny is great. Nice, man. So thank you guys for having me. Thank so you we'll for start off. Through. You tell the people a little bit about your background, you know, about yourself. Let the people know. Man, a regular guy from, uh, I guess, from Georgia, grew up in Belgium, came to New York in this crazy city and just hustling, man, acting, following my dreams and trying to accomplish it. It's uh, it's tough, but it's a beautiful process, you know, at the same time. Wow, cool, man. So let's take it back to the beginning. Okay, so, let's go back. Bring it back. Yeah, let's bring it way, way back. Let's so go. you came here, you're chasing your dream, but... Was acting your dream at first? I, I read that you started off in music and dance. True, true. What, what, what specifically in the music world did you do? Did you play instruments? Did you let the, let the people know out there? Mm -hmm. So uh, I was born in Georgia. and my, We don't have an actor in, in the family, but my parents, my, my father and my grandfather are pretty, you know, the musicians. Uh, my grandfather played in a famous band in Georgia. Oh, wow. And my father was playing saxophone. So oh, nice. when I was six years old, five, six years old, my parents, my my, my father put me in a uh, in a music school and I started uh, playing piano, you know. But it was it a year or two years? Because you're young. You just want to... Right, know, right. You just want to yeah. hear it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that was it. And then um, and when, when I left Belgium, uh, when I left Georgia, I went to Belgium, that's when I, you know, wanted to sing, you know, and but I started off in, in Georgia as well, you know, singing and, and dancing and playing and and uh, obviously when you're young, you don't realize it. Your parents has to guide you throughout something. Yeah, yeah, you know? absolutely. So uh, and then in Belgium, I wanted to be a singer, but at a certain point I stopped, uh, you know, uh, and then went into the sports, mixed martial arts and this and that. But I still play piano. I that's my that's my hobby. I guess I'm okay with it. Right. Uh, so yeah. is piano like riding a bike? You know, you just pick it up uh, and you could. I guess so. I I think yeah. I, again, from the family, I guess I inherited it. It's just uh, you grew I, I up love around it. it. Yeah. You, you said your I, yeah, parents and yes, your uncle. Yes. My my parents. Musicians? And my grandfather. My grandfather. And your grandfather. Yeah. And I love it. I still play it. You know, I I play classical music uh, and sound soundtracks from the films. And uh, yeah, actually. Uh, the reason why I started acting was one of the soundtracks I heard one of the films, my favorite film, one of the favorite films was uh, Braveheart. Uh -huh. Great movie, scene, great classic. Movie. Yeah, classic. And one of the scenes that um, was really touching for me um, uh -huh. when I watched, I was 12 years old. And that's when it, uh, that's not when I started acting, but that's when it really got me like, oh, what is it, you know? Yeah, so, that was, that was going to be one of my follow up questions. So, when did you transition to acting instead of pursuing? Yeah, you know, that, that was a little the music. That was a little later because uh, I was really uh, at a certain point. I was at the point that I was going to be a professional fighter. I mean, I I can call myself I'm very advanced because I trained all my life in mixed martial arts. But I was really going to be a fighter, a professional fighter, wow. making money with that. Uh, I grew up with um, one of the greatest uh, kickboxers in the, in, in the world. My best friend, my childhood friend, Marl Gregorian, uh, is a current lightweight champion. Shout oh, out to the champion! Yeah. yeah, shout out to my Marl. Yeah, and man, uh, awesome. and but I but I started with judo because judo is like a traditional sport in Georgia, and you know every parent, especially fathers. You know, they want to see their kids uh, in judo. So judo is big amongst it's, Georgians. Yeah, I think it's the biggest sport in Georgia, I would okay. say. Okay. Wow. Uh, you know, yeah. So uh, my father, you know, he well, let's go, you know. <laughs> let's, and I think that's 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 a good, it's, it's good because 
you'll learn how to respect your know, discipline. There's a, a lot of factors Disciplines come together. Disciplines you as a young... Exactly, yeah. 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 To, Absolutely. You know, yeah, respect. You learn how to respect uh, all the people and, you know, your parents and friends. And you stick together with friends and uh, you're far from, you know, alcohol and drugs right, and right. this and that. Keeps and you away from you, exactly. the bad stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you get to, you know, you learn how to kick people's asses. Too. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That's the, Nothing better than so, that, being able to defend yourself. <laughs> exactly. You can't forget yeah. that. That, that's, I think that's the main goal because when you live in Europe, unfortunately, at some point, you got to defend yourself. I mean, you I'm know. from Brooklyn. Yeah. I understand yeah. how that goes. You, you guys have guns in, in New York and the United <laughs> States, but we don't have that, you know? No, that's uh, joke, uh, joke uh, <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so acting came actually when I was 19 years old. My friend called me and he said, we're shooting a short film and uh, we need a boxer in, in in the short film. And I said, yeah, let's do it. Why not? And yeah, I, why not? And I did that. You know, I was fighting and kicking his ass, whatever. <laughs> and uh, when the and, and there was a premiere after that. And uh, when I watched myself on the show, I was like, oh my God, I look great. You know, I should, <laughs> you I know, should as a young just kid, be an actor. I just want to be an actor, you know? <laughs> And I think that's in my blood that I want to be an artist, and uh, it's. But it's again, it's a, it's tough, and you don't realize that when you're young, you're like, oh yeah, I want to be an actor. But look, listen, yeah. there's, there's a lot to it. It's not yeah. just want to be an actor. Definitely. So that's that's when I started, and then uh, yeah, that's how it went actually in Belgium. And then when you really when you realize that you really want to do it. That's when I made the step and to come in the city when, when you in went New York. You went from New York, yeah, yeah. and and uh, and really go you know behind your goals and uh you know and really trade really, chase your really dreams, chase right, your right, dreams right, right. And, yeah. and train and train yeah and i think uh i love new york and i think i think it's the most artistic uh city in the world for me and i've been in so many different countries when you, when you grow up in europe everything is so close mm -hmm. together so you sure know, i travel a lot Bus right away exactly yeah uh but i realized that new york has it's, I don't know, man, it's, it's charming. It's great. It's fascinating to just, you know, sitting in subway and, and, you know, just that watching people and everybody's busy. Yeah, everybody's, people watch. everybody's, <laughs> everybody's busy with art, art, like, you know, writing and dancing and singing and, and nobody really yeah, gives man. a fuck what you think. They just do it that's because right. they love it. That's it. Passionate. Well, welcome passionate to that. New York. Yeah. So that's, that's it, man. So um, you mentioned, uh, yeah. martial arts training and judo. Mm. Was that the only discipline you studied? And for how long did you study judo? Yeah, so like I said, judo was um, my father, but uh, because okay. my grand, my uncle, he's I think he's one of the biggest guys I know. I mean, physically, mm -hmm. uh, big dude, he, huh? He's he's uh, okay, he's six five, and he's in pounds. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm two fifty kgs, yeah, he's like kgs. Yeah, he's kgs. Talking about kilograms. So, uh, kilograms. Uh, he's 180 kg, so that it's almost twice. double. Yeah, that's it's almost 350. Like wow. Yeah, that's wow. a big dude. So big man, <laughs> six <laughs> five. Yeah, and he was a wrestler, so you know. Oh, and then, then talking, you should put him in. And my, my not only me, my my brother too. Yeah, wow. they do. They have to be wrestlers, and they have to, you know, blah blah blah, and this and that. Uh, but I I think, like I said, I think there was uh, my friends had impact on me because when I started off in judo. At a certain point, I realized, no, I think Muay Thai, kickboxing is huge in, in okay. Holland and Belgium. Right, okay. And I just want to be, you know why? Because when you have judo fights, nobody's really watching. I mean, uh -huh. it's not huge in Belgium. In it's more action with the exactly, Muay Thai. Yeah. Yeah, but Muay yeah. Thai, you had like this crowd and I was watching my friends, you know, cheering for the hall and yeah. this and that. I just want to be, you just want to have some attention as yeah, a young kid. Part you know? of the action. Yeah, part of the action, yeah. <laughs> yeah and that's when I had my transition from judo to Muay Thai. And I trained both. Daniela Sommers, she's one of the greatest, uh, you know, trainers wow, in Belgium. Wow, amazing. In you got City. to train yeah. with, the, with these Yeah, so I trained with these guys. seven years. Fascinating. With, yeah, seven years in Muay Thai after judo. So wow. totally probably six years of judo and then seven years of uh, Muay Thai. And then wow. together it's a fully, you know, it's a full package, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now you mentioned brother. Do you have any other siblings? No, I have one brother. Younger, I, I always older? wanted to have a sister, to be honest. Younger, or older my, brother? Younger. He's a year and a half younger than me. Is, my brother. is he pursuing an acting career no, as no, well? No, far from that. He he was a good he was a good fighter, but uh, you know he got married at a younger age. He was oh, okay. uh, twenty one. So he went off. Yeah, to he build has a family. Now, three kids. Nothing wrong God with that. Respectable. No, no, three kids. Yeah, he's doing fine. He's doing great. 
And he know. didn't stick to the martial arts, uh, nothing? He, no, but he, he still got it. He, 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 uh, he did judo with me for six years. You know, he's a big guy. He's strong, very strong. And uh, he did Muay Thai for like two years, you know, you know, learned some basic boxing and, and stuff like that. And then he stopped. Yeah. But we had a lot of street fights together. So that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there was some yeah, sibling man. rivalries <laughs> going on yeah. as well. Yeah, you gotta defend. You practice yourself. on him. You practice on him. You whip at his school, ass. It, at school, brother. it's 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 basic in in uh, in Europe to fight. You know, but it's kids. You know what I mean? It, it happens sometimes. So you lived in your bunch of places, right? Mm. Born in Georgia. We went to Germany. Grew up in Belgium. Yeah, but before Belgium, we went to Germany for nine months. And, and now we, you're here in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. What would you say is the better sort of lifestyle and a place to raise children? Yeah, that's a difficult question because you mentioned lifestyle and raise the children because, um, yeah, man, I think uh, I'm religious, I'm Christian. Uh, and, and, you know, for for us, for Georgians, it's really important how to raise your, your kids and, and how you behave in your family as, mm-hmm. a, as a husband and as a kid, whatever. It, it's everything for us. So uh, I have certain problems and certain concerns in 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 you know the Western in, world. Yeah, I would say it. I don't want to mm-hmm. mention New York or specific, you know, special. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. We're living in a clown world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. So it I don't is wanna, fucked up nowadays. I don't want to dig in too deep into that. But like, yeah, it's hard. But uh, you know, on the other hand, it's uh, everywhere. It's it, it's just now. It's everything mm-hmm. is a little mm-hmm. fucked up. You I know what I'm you, saying? Man. So it's all over. But we got to be careful with everything. What's going on? So. um but it's I'm happy to be here, and you know? I think for me it's not only about what people think, people say. Yeah, I think um, when you have certain education and and knowledge about life, uh, you gotta give and and you gotta support your kids. Yeah, and if you yeah, have absolutely. the right partner with you, I absolutely. think it's, it's, it's gonna be okay. Where you live in absolutely. New York, or Europe, right, right. Mm-hmm. Nothing Africa, it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's yeah. the values that you instill in them, no matter where the hell you are. Yeah, exactly. Your, your principles. Yeah, you know, because you, I think. You give what you have to your kids. Yes. That's right. And I believe it's not always, I know, it's maybe I'm going to say something bad right now, but I, I think um, kid is the mirror of the parents. Well, that's, should that's be, what, yeah. That's what my yeah. father always said, you yeah. know? So if the kid is bad... It should means, be, yeah, but not yeah. most of the time. They're not, always exactly. not a spitting yeah. image in the Because you mirror, learn, but, you learn yeah. from your parents, you know? If the parents are okay, at least okay, if they tell you what to do... What, my mother used to say, tell me, you know, when I was young, how to eat, how to, right. how to respond, how they to, give when you to the talk, blueprint. when not to talk. Yeah, they exactly, give you the you blueprint know? to follow. Yeah, it's up to you to follow it. Exactly, because when you're five years old, six years old, you, you don't, don't know, know nothing. Anything. You know, yeah. you just listen. Yeah. No, you're just, you just listen following just do what they say, you know, exactly. So, so, and then unfortunately, some people are, you know, busy and then, you know, kids have, you know, kids have less yeah, attention. Yeah. And then the kids know, get distracted, they get, they get into other things. Yeah. mischievous problems and you know like you said they get lost yeah true true so man. not everybody follows a straight line you know yeah. what i'm saying exactly being from belgium i know it's not far from amsterdam have you ever been there and did you partake in the extracurricular activities <laughs> <laughs> cannabis uh, mushrooms my boys all the fun <laughs> stuff uh, <laughs> that's a good question but amsterdam is actually another red light district <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, oh, yeah okay i'm not gonna say everything but i've done some of the things but i've never had drugs in my life uh not even a cigarette because i'm far far away okay. from that from the right. stuff yeah um, you seem to be very like good a, yeah. very disciplined and yeah. very yeah. disciplined yeah that's that's my life i've never had it in my life uh but uh, amsterdam i think it's good that you mentioned because for me it's the most beautiful city uh, in Europe wow. that I that really? I saw. Yeah, for me yes, it's um, wow. right. it's full package, man. It's authentic. It's it's very beautiful and people. I, I love everything about it. Probably because I also speak Dutch. That's my first language, and um, you know, and it's also so close to me uh, mm-hmm. from Antwerp city to Amsterdam. It's like an hour driving. Oh you know? wow, it's very close. Oh, so wow. Every every weekend it's just Amsterdam. Oh, let's go. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's it's a favorite go. Favorite place. Yeah. I'm down. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like man. Yeah. One day you uh, be a tour guide. You for guys will yeah, yeah, be a tour guide. <laughs> you know, Steve, I'm always inviting my friends. From <laughs> yeah, here. let's go. Yeah, let's go, yeah, man. That's let's go. great, brother. Yeah. Um, being that so now you came to New York, right, and then. How did that go? Did you have to study classes in New York as well when you made the transition from Belgium to New York? Yeah, that's a good right? question. So what was the difference in the schooling 
Mm -hmm. What did you pick up from them and vice versa? What did you pick up from the American ways versus the European ways? Uh, okay, to be honest, I haven't had as much training as I had. I mean, as I had here in in Europe, because oh. um, yeah, I, studying was for me in New York, and I really studied. You know, uh -huh. I I was you know going to school from Monday to Friday. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, full program. I studied in New York Film Academy. I, I mostly I, I was training Meisner techniques. I you know that's that's to, for me that's the closest. Um, uh, technique that I've, I I'm just connected to that. What is it? The uh, Meisner, 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 yeah. Meisner, Meisner, Meisner uh, technique. Yes, and then and then I got interested in uh, as as I, as I started theater. Um, people were talking about props and how to use it and how to and because on on stage it's different. You want to use the room and voice and this and that. You got to be physical and and that's when I started doing Stella Adler and then did that and I did that for nine months. And it was great. I did cell other techniques and analyzing scripts and uh, characters and uh, you know script analysis was really interesting. Uh, but but I re and I you know I've did some. I trained Larry Moss, one of the greatest acting coaches in the world. Mm. Uh, wow. I did some Uda Hagen, uh, some Lee Strasberg, uh, one of the teachers of mine who studied with Lee Strasberg. Yeah, they were actually friends. He's an old guy. Um, so I I did different obviously Stanislavski and blah blah blah. And I and I did a lot of techniques, but. I think every actor, you know, finds some of the connections with one of the techniques most of the time. You know, for me, that uh -huh. was Meisner because with Meisner, uh, so that was your thing. That That's was what you thing. felt most yeah, comfortable yeah. with, and you went with that. Yeah, because Meisner really taught me uh, how to listen as an actor. You know, mm. as a, okay. really because, um, yeah, and and how to how to challenge yourself. I remember uh, one of the. I mean, he's my one of my favorite teachers. Um, in uh, one of the exercises we did, there's a there's a book, um, Spoon River anthology, and there you have great. What's the book? Spoon River. Spoon, Spoon River. River. Yes, okay. Yeah, Spoon River, and you have a lot of uh, great monologues into it, and it's, it's an old book. And um, he picked us. Uh, he he gave every student uh, a monologue and a character, and he gave me a character, thus uh, Darkus Gustine. It was a guy that was really ambitious, rude, uh, honest, direct. You know, and I'm a guy, I'm not shy, but I would say I'm really, for me, it's everything about respect. When I see all the sure, people, it's like, yeah. I'm always like, you know. You have manners. You would talk with manners. He was, exactly. yeah, with manners. He was yeah, brought absolutely. up right. Yeah, so there are a lot of things that That's what I, happens I wouldn't when try. you have a mother and father raising you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you know. A lot of people um, don't have the luxury of both parents, you know. Exactly. Yeah, unfortunately. So, uh, and I remember, I, I was doing this exercise, and, and, and he takes me on the side, and he goes, listen, Bond, I want you to do me, uh, do me a favor, and please, for the entire week, every day, when you use your subway, when you come from your house to the class, I don't want to say be rude, but just just say what you think you want to say <laughs> to the people. If somebody's bothered, just tell them the truth. <laughs> he could have got you punched in your face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, and growing up, and you know, exactly, crazy people yeah. in New York. Yeah, and man. Growing up, well, I mentioned this before, growing up, um, you know, your parents tell you, like, listen, when somebody comes in a bus or train, you give them a spot and you, yeah, you know, yeah, them and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know? Respectful, so, yeah. And I said, what would be for me the biggest challenge, you know, to, you know, to get out of my, my body and just become this yeah, character, yeah. Yeah. Darkest Gustine. So, and I remember... Every time when I was in subway, and you guys know it's fully packed, you know, yeah, always, especially yeah, when you're in the train, yeah, yeah. like a can and, of sardines. Yeah, and I was like, and I felt so bad, man. Like move out, like literally, oh, just you know man. what I'm saying. And one time I was like, okay, I'm gonna make it harder, and I say, listen, I'm tired, give me your spot. No, okay, no, I, I swear no to God. way. <laughs> what were the reactions that yeah. you got? And, and did I you actually so bad. test it? it? I'm sorry. Did you actually you tested it on these people? What were their reactions? Uh, you know, unfortunately, that guy was Asian. And he was very kind. And okay, okay. Uh, I up. get up. Okay, no, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. When he stood up, I said, "Sit down. It's okay." Oh, uh, you yeah. explained no. it to him. But I just wanted to, you know, break some rules for myself. Yeah, and, that, mm -hmm. and, and that was also. And in the very beginning, we asked me about school and training. When I came here, I was also scared. It was also scary, man, because sure. you don't speak as good as English as right, I'm speaking right, right now. Right. And, and mm -hmm. there is a there is an obstacle, you know, and a lot of because eventually, the other students are in in front. They're they they're, they have more advantage because they they were born here. They were born they, here, they, of you know, course. You're like, they're always gonna have you, the you advantage. Don't want, you right. want to say sometimes something because right. you feel like I got it. But the thing yeah. is. 
you gotta be careful because what are you gonna yeah. say? Everybody's listening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not about always being a great actor, being a talented actor, because there's a lot of factors in that matter sure. in, in this sure. situation. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Speaking of the train incidents, at least, at least he has the you know the ability to defend himself with the yeah. judo and muay yeah. thai background. What? You Get know out what of I'm my saying, seat, yeah. motherfucker? <laughs> so if somebody would have thrown a punch at you, well, at least that, you know how was, to defend that was yourself. But lucky, man, that was... lucky didn't come to that. Yeah, but yeah to blows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky yeah, didn't yeah. come to blows. But so yeah. your name Bond? Mm -hmm. Were you named after James Bond? 007? <laughs> <laughs> no, James so Bond. My real name is uh, Bondo Bando. Actually, Bondo. That's my uh, grandfather's name. And in Georgia, it's like tradition, you know, old tradition. A lot of lot of kids yeah. are named after grandfathers. the grandfather. Yeah, yeah. 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 Same Absolutely. like me. Yeah. Same and here. then growing up, it's just like Bond, Bond. Show like here, like yeah. Benny. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you have sure. a different. What's your real name? Yes, is it my Benny? full name is in Italian. Yeah, it translates to Benjamin. 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 But it's um. My birth certificate. It's Benny Amino. Benny Amino. Exactly. So, Italian. Great. Beautiful exactly. name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. But you know that Bond, 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 and yeah. then and then certain Makes point sense. when I was when I started acting, it was like oh James Bond, I was like, it's, it's beautiful man. And everybody has a stage <laughs> yeah. name, so I said yeah. okay Bond, and then yeah, from then man. it, it started stuck. off Bond, yeah, yeah. Bond, Bond. So that's yeah, what, that's Bond. good, but hundred yeah. percent, mm. that's great. Um, here's another one for you. So now, as you were saying, you um when you took these lessons and classes in New York. Did you happen to work with any famous actors or actresses? Did you bump into? Well, I worked besides the teachers. That you know, what about any famous actors? Yeah, or well, maybe um, some of the teachers were famous actors. Oh, well, that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell the people. Uh, so I, I recently worked with. I mean, I worked with Lindsay Lohan. Uh, I was in Belgium back then, but I, I recently worked with uh, Christopher Maloney. Uh, on NBC, that yeah, you beautiful. Were, yeah, you were a guest yeah. star guest on star. Law and Order, yeah, Organized yeah. Crime. Exactly. So, yeah, man, that was great. I man, I think he, yeah, he was, he was a great guy, and um, we worked for the whole week, seven days, and uh, different scenes with him. And I think for me, it was really an honor to work to work with him. You know, and uh, besides that, I, I met a couple of great actors uh, in New York and. You know how New York is. Like really, who? Really Let the good. people know. They want to know. You know, I, I'm really good friends with uh, Chaz, Palmy, and Terry, the entire family. Oh, his, wow. his son, Don, right. Dante, is like my brother. I know who he's, that is. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah he's, that's he's great. A great family, man. So supportive. And his son, uh, Chaz, Dante, he's, he's my best friend. He's like a Sonny brother. from a Bronx, a Bronx thing. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, he's a great man. Seriously. Uh, you know, he's just great. Um, He's one of the greatest actors ever. He he's got nominated for the Oscars mm -hmm. in 1994. Yeah. But besides that, he's just a great human man. Seriously, I I, I was oftentimes in his house, and um, he's down to earth guy, man. He's he's very really, cool. He's very sounds cool. like a cool, oh, interesting he's guy. Very cool, and and Humble. the entire family, you know. Shout out uh, to Chaz, exactly. Shout yeah, out to Chaz and the whole family, yeah. And so you know, you 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 obviously maybe you were like a sponge absorbing everything you can. Yeah, from yeah. Working with him, or you know, near him, teaching honestly, you. Did uh, he give you pointers? What, what of did course, he... no. He he's you know he's a guy who can you know inspire you. He 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 gave me some words that he told me once. Um, he told me eighty five percent of success is show up. You know that to me. Uh, Half so the basically, <laughs> basically, he said, "You gotta go everywhere. You know, you just gotta, you, you just gotta, gotta do the work. You, you gotta, gotta work, put the work you know? in. Yeah. Said, if you put the nobody, work in, it should. Nobody's pay gonna off. knock on your door and say, hey, 'Hey, let's go.' You know, you gotta put yourself no. out there. Yeah. And then he, he, he's great. He gave me some um, audition techniques and stuff like that. No, we, no, thank God, he's he's great, man. He's a big support, and I, I will never forget, never. And uh, when the time is right, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll say it. I'll say it always, but I, I guess he deserves more than that. The whole family. Yeah. I hear that. You mentioned uh, working with Lindsay Lohan. Mm -hmm. That was in the movie Among the Shadows. Yes. Uh, you played Mason the werewolf, correct? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, first, those contacts. That had to drive you nuts. Yeah, right? yeah. Contact that, that lenses. Was, that was crazy, man. I had problems with that because oh, the yeah. first time they tried it 12 or 13 times. Oh, I, wow. I, I, shit was hard, man. <laughs> Because, you know, uh, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> 13 times, that was, that was crazy. But yeah, that, that was another story because, um, so um, to be very honest, um, I, I was shooting a film uh, in, that was in 2014 and uh, that film was too long into post-production, to be honest, because it came out in 2019. 
Um, oh, wow. Five yeah. years post-production. Four years, yeah. And there, you think we take problems. a long time. Yeah. No, there were some problems. <laughs> there was, a, yeah. But uh, I, w- I was filming, and then uh, one of the casting directors, I was a real, real, real friend of mine, Patrick Hella, he called me, he said, uh, there's a film that, uh, and I send you the profile, and uh, they might be interested in you. And if they, if somebody's gonna call you up from, you know, this number, blah blah blah, uh-huh. mm-hmm. they wanna, they wanna see so you. So basically, you networked from that exactly, movie. yeah. So and then I was waiting, and I nobody really called after two weeks. I said mm. probably it's just it's gone, you know. Here, say, gotta move on. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And then and I had a call. My mother called me. She goes and somebody calling the house number, and it was uh, it was a guy who was talking English. I said okay, oh, that's wow. good, you know. And that's how it happened, man. It was, uh, and, but the problem was uh, some of the scenes that I had, unfortunately, didn't go because that was a time when we had this uh, attack in Brussels with, uh, with head, the terrorists that came in and they blew up, they blew up the Oh, airport. the bus. Oh, no, 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 no airport. 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 Okay, airport, yeah. I'm thinking oh, when shit. they were blowing up the buses. I might yeah, be thinking of London. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was, uh, that was in France first, in Paris with the shooting, and then there was in Brussels. Wow. And that, you know, and people were, oh my God. And yeah, you're everything. on edge. Everybody's yeah. not going anywhere. Yeah, exactly. And then, and, and then she, she flew to London and then she came back and there was some, you know, compli- it was a complicated situation. But, um, but, and I was young. I was, uh, I don't know, how old? Uh, 19, uh, I don't know, I, 20, 20, 21, something. That was quick, actually, very quick. Uh, after I started acting, yeah, yeah, yeah. But to be honest, I, you know, that was a great part. But it was more physical. It was more physical because they knew I was you were the werewolf capable of, you know, ripping people arts. apart. Exactly, really jumping. I remember there was a there was a spot. It was four a.m. in the morning, and the director says, and you know, it was not big production. You know, it was low budget. I think it was five million dollars or something. Uh, that's what they said. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was a, there was at some point. Uh, Lindsay got four of that. <laughs> Probably. Maybe four and a half. <laughs> maybe four and a half. So I was jumping from from somewhere. It was it was high. And then they were like trying to do something. And and I realized that they, they couldn't fix it. I said, listen, don't put anything. I'm just gonna do it. You know, you sure because I said just, just let me They're do all it. paranoid yeah, and worried yeah. about your safety. Yeah. So you go, Oh, let's do it. And when they said, Yeah, go ahead, I realized <laughs> I realized <laughs> how big the production was, but I did it, and it, and it worked. But anyways, that was that was okay. That was good. Sure, because, it was fun. But to be very honest, uh, that was that film made me actually come to New York. Oh wow! Okay, because really? the, Nicolas Cage was shooting uh, a film in Rome, and there was a guy that was friends with Billy Zane mm-hmm. on set, and they came by. And uh, so hold on, hold on. <laughs> You said Rome was Rome. among the shadows filmed in Rome. I know there was a scene where they showed the Colosseum. Yeah. I don't know if they just took some B-roll no, there was, yeah. and added it. It or was, was it in filmed Rome. In Rome. It was in Rome, Belgium, and Switzerland. Yeah, oh, okay. Those three, okay. There was a combination. Yeah, three right. three countries. And uh, that's when the, the one of the guys told me, "Why don't you try in New York? Because he, you know, makes martial arts. This blah blah blah." And I mm-hmm. said, and that's when I said. Okay, and uh, it took me some time to, you know, made a step, and uh, and I came here for three three days. I remember, and uh, one of my one of my um, favorite films is Once Upon a Time in America. I don't know if you guys know that, mm. starring Robert no. De Niro, and that's it's not. I've movie. heard of it. I've yeah. heard of it. Sergio Leone was the director. It, it's an old movie, but it's great. Now movie. I'm gonna have to go watch it. It's yeah. beautiful, really. It's uh, it's Brooklyn, Dumbo. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so, and I remember I, I had, so when I came for three days, I had my uh, music with this soundtrack and I was sitting there on the Dumbo's Bridge. I was like, Brooklyn Bridge. And I was like, oh, man, should I come here? Because for me, it's, it's, bro, it's crazy. It's a huge decision. Yeah, it's a decision. <laughs> and also coming from a small country, small city like Antwerp City, and then you come to New York and you see all this. The big apple, cities, baby. Big apple, bro. It's, should I make this move, this and that? And when I came when I came back to Belgium, when I went back to Belgium, uh, I told everybody. I said I'm going, you know. Mm. And I I know my parents. They know how I am. When I do, when I say something, I'm always behind it. You know, when I take yeah. I take action. Word you know? means everything. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But yeah. man of action. Yeah. And I and I have great friends, man. Uh, shout out to my friends. Uh, they are everything for me. I I love them so much. I have like brothers. Like, shout, shout out. Yeah. Shut up. So, so you uh, mentioned being on the Brooklyn Bridge, listening yeah, to a soundtrack yeah. or music. And, and what is thinking. Bond's favorite genre of music? Is it rock, folk music, man, Georgian I, dance music, no, rap? I, I honestly, I love everything. I so I can 
So you guys will be impressed what I'm going to say right now. Yeah, hey, shoot, baby, uh, shoot. First of all, I love rock and rap. Like Eminem, for me, he's well, Tupac. Okay. That's okay. great. Okay. But, yeah, yeah. but I can like... listen to, uh, if I'm down on something, I can go on Show Road or, you know, our place, uh, Bay Ridge. I can just go there and just uh, listen to piano or something. I want right. to, like, I can, I can listen to uh, a soundtrack from The Pianist. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm mm -hmm. down, right. less, whatever. It just, for me, it's the mood. What I just, what I need emotionally. Right. And that, that comforts moment. your mood. At that moment. Yeah, 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 exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, moment. Yeah. Understood, so, uh, understood. Yeah, and I respect yeah, all, I respect everything, you know, because they're Absolutely. creating. Yeah. Everything was created, yeah. it's respectful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely, man. Speaking of art and, uh, you know, these uh, artistically talented actors and actresses, who would be your uh, dream director or co-star to work alongside oh, with? That's a good question. Moving man. forward in your career, you know? We shout them out uh, at them. Maybe we make it happen. Uh, never know. <laughs> I, you know, I, I have it more with directors. And, uh, you know, I, I love David Lynch. I love um, uh, Ridley Scott. I love Martin Scorsese. You know, yeah, oh, Scorsese. Martin, yeah, Martin. You know, everybody it's, knows it's, Martin. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's great. But um, with actors, I, I don't really have it. Be, no, I mean, there are a lot of actors that I would love to work with. But any specific? You know, this is what I'm saying. I, I, anybody? I, I, or just lately, I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't know. I, I started loving this guy. I, I was. I love Walking Phoenix, man. Walking Phoenix. Walking oh, Phoenix. Walking in Phoenix. my opinion, is an incredible Walking actor. Phoenix, yeah, very love, underrated. Yeah, I love. He's gone, you know, Heath Ledger. He was yeah. for me just one yeah, of the greatest. Man. Matthew McConaughey. You mm -hmm. know, we have great actors, Christian Bale. But he can he can name so the many. The list goes great on actors. and on yeah. and on. Exactly. And I don't want to mention the legends, you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, want to yeah, start with yeah. yeah. So but yeah. But I look up to some of the actors that are, I think, right. uh, trying to adapt some of the things that they're using and you know, yeah. But it's never easy, man. No. Because you gotta man. have your own, you know. Of course. You always yeah. want to make you, your own link. You mentioned directors, right? Mm -hmm. And I know you were in the film, the Belgium film, Gangster. Yes. Which was directed yeah. by um, Adel L. Arby. Yes. And Bilal Falal. Yeah, great guys. Um, better known for Bad Boys for Life directors, starring mm -hmm. Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. Yeah. What was that. it like working with those guys? Man, I know. So I knew that uh, those guys were uh, fighters, man. They, 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 they have beautiful story because I remember, it's funny, when they started in school, um, they were dropped in different classes. They said, "You guys are not not good. Just leave. You just really? they, wow. they, yeah, they they tell us over all the time. They they talked about that to be honest. But I knew them around. And when I was young, I was trying to bug in them. Hey, listen, I and I need to. You know, I'm a beginner, and they give me something. Blah blah blah. And then nothing was really coming into my way. And then that when that film started. The, the I heard from one of my friends about audition and casting, and uh, it was a film like like Godfather. Here, everybody mm -hmm. was talking about gangster is gonna uh -huh. come and audition is starting and blah. blah. Every star in, in from Holland, from Belgium was, you okay. know, full package. It was a big hit Brought out up, there. Oh, needless yeah, to say, big, yes, yes, big hit. Really, it's one of the greatest. I mean, we're gonna have to watch it with subtitles. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, and 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 they uh, they invited me for an audition. I was so I was already happy that they invited me for an audition. Right, right. Never mind. Because I was when really, you finally got it. Exactly. You were just yeah, happy to yeah. audition. Sure. Yeah. It was. It wasn't like the biggest part, but it was. Uh, it was. It was good. Uh, I mean, I think for me in Belgium, was one of the biggest things that I've done. You know, so far. because so I remember my teachers. Off? That's what kicked off your yeah, career. That. A lot. When when that I did film? that after that I said, listen, I I remember I, I from the set. Uh, I was driving with Bill, the director, one of the directors, and I said, "I'm gonna go to go to New York and study." He goes, "Really?" I said, "Yeah." He goes, "Wow, man, I respect that, bro. You really yeah. gonna do it?" I was like, I was when I left, I was like 23 years old or something, you know, like young years, buck, yeah, my man, 20, young 24, buck going to yeah. follow your dreams. Yeah, so young buck bound, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean that that was great, uh, but I haven't I haven't seen those guys for for years now, and I hope to see them soon, maybe for something. And yeah, I heard maybe they have a project gonna, ready. They're gonna for make you. a gangster too. I heard. Oh, that. Uh -huh. but the problem is my they killed my character, but oh, my so character wasn't that, that big. You never know. I had short hair back then. You uh, know? Maybe now you maybe. Know, could, some we'll makeup see, prosthetics. We'll see. But they, they're shooting a lot of things, so we'll see maybe in the future. I def, I, they're lovely guys. Uh, very funny and very interesting. Very smart, too. So, speaking of that, and you were grateful to get the role, how is it 
getting an actual landing, the actual position. I, I'm sure I know you have an agent, right? Yes. And that gets you the roles and whatever process you go through. I, explain what's the actual process to the inspiring young actors that's, out there or even a, old actors out there. Yeah. If you got a word of advice for them, how, how does Man, that actually that, work? You that, know, that's a very good question. And actually, actually that, that was, that was one of the things that I was uh, so looking for and searching when I came here because, um, so I you realized, should have a good answer. For yeah. This. I, I, yeah. I think, I, I think I teach can, the I people out yeah, there, the yeah. young and trying for, to come up and yeah, be actors. Anybody who's trying to, yeah, don't you have know. to be young. Anybody. Yeah. Anybody, sure. anybody yeah. Wants to, yeah. I'm just saying. So I remember, uh, when I came here in 2018 and I started off with a uh, high school and everything and training, right. maybe I was too excited and I was so quick. I don't know. I, I didn't have a lot going on back then. I was just studying. And I remember I went through IMDB and I uh, probably 150 uh, agencies from the top to 150. And just uh, called them all? So, no, just submitting. They, oh, submit know, like a resume yeah, type thing? Is, uh, you know, Useless? So, yeah, so, I get back sort of to like you. a resume. Yeah. No. So you're submitting Sending a resume. Sending a resume, a catch up, saying what do you want, who you are, what do you want to achieve, and this okay, and that. Okay, all right. And some clips. But I, I didn't have any clips back then. I had some clips from Belgium and, and nothing, no interest. 150 agencies, not even one no. response. Wow. Can you imagine that? Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that I, sucks. Yeah. So I realized, okay, I just need to do something different because well, it's I not gotta working. Do, right? Okay, so I keep training. I'm and, glad uh, you stuck with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Persistence exactly. wears down resistance. That's right. <laughs> That's what they say. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I, I kept going, and I remember 2021, uh, I took my professional headshots. I had some clips from my friends. They shot some short films and mm-hmm. this and that. And I, I, I think I had a, a, a clip on the clips that catched their intention, I guess. And I, I asked some people, like, you know, people like, you know, certain people that could, you know, tell me this is good, this is not good, right, whatever. Right. And uh, in 2021, I had probably five response from different agencies is I only okay. submit, submitted myself. That's a huge in New York. increase exactly. from zero to five. That's huge. And I remember last two, I, and I had, it was COVID already. Five so times more. Zoom meetings. I had Zoom meetings and conversations with, with agencies. And I was like, oh my God, I'm in this position. I have to make a decision where I go. You know what I mean? And back yeah, then, man. I had no even... I felt like shit back then because I had nobody was really uh, showing it. Uh, Probably starting attention. to get a little depressed. No love. Exa- yeah, I was man. A, oh man. It's like, was, is this really for me? Yeah. What am I going to do? Is yeah. It- and I'm a cancer. So uh, depressing is, you know, it's, it's standard. <laughs> oh, yeah. standard That's man. what it Emotional. is. Emotional. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then, and finally, I thank God I made a uh, great decision. I think I love my agent. She's great. Susan, shout out to Susan from here. Shout out shout to, out Susie, to Susie, Susie, baby. Yeah. Big Susie. Uh, and I remember my first audition. Guess what? I'm getting what? an audition. It was, and, and I'll Sergeant be honest, Sue. and you know, because of COVID, uh, you know, as an actor, you know that you go to a room and, you know, the agent gets you an audition. Okay. Right. Okay. Go, let's go back to the process because that was right. the question. Yeah, that's the question. Yeah. Um, so the question is, but let, let me finish my thing first because that's, sure, that's important. Sure, so, brother. Um, since COVID, we have to make self tapes in our home studios, or you know, you go somewhere, you pay whatever. Right. Uh, so, what does that entail? That means, okay. all right, you're you're trying out to be Rick from this show. Okay, I'll make it. Okay, this is let's your see. little scene. Okay, let's. And see you that. have to send me that agent. Agent is getting from casting directors uh, breakdowns. Uh-huh. Let's say we need this kind of guy. This, they say, blah, 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 age, whatever. Right. Uh, speaks, Looking this for that. this description yeah, okay. of, could play a villain, yes, whatever. Yes, exactly. An agent has clients, okay? Mm-hmm. And, and, yeah. and she already is go going through, through the process. Roll and yes. find the right And client. what she does or what he does is, let's say for, for role, for one part, and you have, and they're reaching out to different agencies, not only one. They mm-hmm. might go to four different, mm-hmm. it, it depends how big the production is. And then each is. agent is because sending they over a handful more. of guys. Exactly. So they take top, the agents take top five, maybe seven, like 10 is too much, five, seven, okay? When, let's say they reach out to five agencies and they have 25 actors, okay? But they have usually 50, 100. Mm-hmm. Out of the 100, the casting director says, okay, I saw the pictures, headshots, and maybe they call- Send just, this one, this one, this one. Just two from each agency. Each one, right, So they right. have like- 2015 okay and then we're getting email from the agencies from our age okay you you got selected you can audition now show up before here co- at this exa- time before in person COVID, now before covid it was in person but now it's not now oh. it's with self-tapes so it's so a you self-tape audition. you got a self-tape audition 
So when you do the audition, do you prefer self tape? I'm gonna come prefer... back. To, I'm gonna answer okay. that. That's All a great right. question. Okay. That's a great question. Um, so you do it because that's a total different game. Going into the room and have sure. a self tape, it's total different game. Sure, I can imagine. Yeah. Trust me, it's so different. So uh, and then you send in your audition. Now it's not only about uh, booking the job; it's about to impress the casting director. Because Absolutely. let's say booking a job is like uh, probably. Two percent, five. Let's say five, five percent, because you know it's hard. Sure. Um, I know for you know statistics, they say you have to audition fifty times to get one job. Mm -hmm. But the problem, but the good thing is, once you get a job, it's then like you asking have a trust. girl out. You got to ask fifty to <laughs> <Yeah>. get one. <laughs> the forty-nine no's, no, no, no. Then the fiftieth yeah. one. The 50th one. one. All right, say, let's All go. Right. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so, um, so that's so. Then you send the audition, and then casting director says, okay. Uh, let's say out of the 30 for all the agencies, they take only three or five. And that's, they send that to the production. And now the big boys, Damn. producers, like producer directors going to watch they it. they decide. And they decide only one. Can you imagine? Uh, like okay. when I booked the- Stacks. Uh, the odds are stacked against exactly. you. Yeah, but definitely. the thing is, once you book the job in the character and you, you in? played, that's, then there's more trust from the cast. That, oh, he was in okay. this or she was in that. And then you have more chances getting the part, especially gotcha. let's say you if you play an Italian and right. as a guest star somewhere, and then there's another part again for an Italian because oh he was great in Italian, played right, a character right. in this and this TV show or film, and they're gonna have some trust with you. Yeah, uh, in let's you, get you this know? guy. He was good, and you know that's you how it going. happens. But now the, the pros and cons, like uh, Steve asked me, what is what's better, go to live or go yeah, to what do you prefer? Yeah, you know. The thing is, I would imagine face to face is face probably to face better. is probably better because you I, can actually make an impression. Yeah, I, when I did all my theater sure. uh, auditions was in person, thank God, because it's in New York and they, you know, they COVID is pretty much over right now and yeah, you know, yeah. everybody's open to that. But now it's we're doing the self tapes right now, not because it's COVID, it's because it's easier now for them. They realize they can see more actors. You just click, click, click. You know, yeah. see pictures. No, not him. Not whatever. So you know, moving into it. the future, do you think they're gonna keep it? Like I think, this? oh, definitely, man. It's, they're it's not going to go back no, to face-to-face. No, no, face. no it's way. less work for them, Of course easier. not. Of course wow. It's just... Yeah, but now the it's problem It's like Tinder was, of acting. Exactly. But now the problem was, I remember crazy. the first audition I got, I was bugged. I was like, is it? Is this real? I had my first audition uh, for the film Black Adam with oh. Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. Producer, Black uh, producer, Dwayne Johnson. I was like, no way. That was my first audition with my first agency. Wow. I was like, no wow. way. But honestly, you realize, you you see the progress, but you need to understand the game of how you self tape yourself. You need mm. to, you know, you gotta certain, master that. Certain classes yeah. you yeah, can train yeah. because how to set up the, you know, the sure. rules and how to learn a little from TikTok. <laughs> These people are popping off out there. Man, TikTok is getting famous. <laughs> man, I mean, it's already easy. Yeah. So, but I think if I have to, you know, if I have to make my decision, I would rather go in live because they see yeah. it present. I would think yeah. that's better. Because, you know, casting directors, when they like you in the room, they always give you adjustments. Uh -huh. Do it like this. But when you do a self-tape, in self-tape, you can have your time. You can do 10 takes, 20 takes, whatever, and take the best take out of it and right. send that to your agent. But the problem is they only give you this certain small information from the breakdown and you don't you don't have no not enough and and it's risky but you you got to make strong choices and mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. it might be wrong but again it it the, the thing that matters the most is you got to impress the casting director because the casting directors are always rooting for you because they want to they want to book it they want to yeah, do the yeah. job nobody's against you right, it's just right. the odds that you know makes it hard I want you to you know do your saying? best they want to yeah. land the spot hurry exactly. up and pick they the wanna, cast already and let's start you know, shooting exactly when there's a problem <laughs> yeah. there's, when there's a problem you got a solution and one of the greatest advice that I've you know that I've heard was from Brian Cranston from Breaking Bad Breaking Bad he said actors should realize that the job is getting audition when you get an audition, you book the job. You go there mm. and do your best and you perform, you know? And if you book the job, that's a bonus. That you gotta be happy. But if you go to the, he goes, if you go to an audition with the intention to book a job, you're right. fucked. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just go up there, you do your job, you impress the people, you do your best, you you know, you do your right. homework and craft and whatever, this and that, and you just let go. But the problem is you can't let go sometimes. Yeah. I had it's a couple of times. It's always hard to be rejected. Man, I, it's always and then hard. You, know, you know what Rejection it gets sometimes? Is hard sometimes for everybody. agent is reaching on and says, you're pinned. A pin means 
you're in top four. You know what I mean? So you're like, God, please let yeah. me right, you right, get right, the yeah, 25% yeah. chance. And 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 you can't, and you then, can't, there's no control. No. You can't call and them. Then, wah, wah, exactly. Wah, wah. And yeah, you're, you hoping, know. you're hoping they're going to call me now, this and that. That's it, man. I, let's say for and for this TV show, same thing with Law and Order. Uh, I was with my friends, and I, I was like, pinned? okay, I, I wasn't. And then I had wow. nothing. I was nothing. No? I had nothing. And then four day, four days go by, and I was like, oh, probably just let's go, on. let's move on. And then boom, my agent is calling me, says you booked the job. Congratulations! Congratulations! Man, so happy, Great, bro. Man. Awesome, man. That was that was my that was my That's first awesome. uh, first gig in, in in the United States, and and guest star, and that was I was really happy, and yeah. And that's a great, that's a great story. So you've been on movies, you've been on TV, you've been on Broadway and off Broadway. Three's Company was one of my favorite television yeah. shows growing yeah. up as a you young remember buck. That? You remember yeah. that? Yeah. Come in, I'll come on. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't born. I was 1991, I think, right? That was it was long TV before show. that. It was even before yeah, that. Yeah. 80s. This is the 80s. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Crazy, you played one of the lead roles yeah. in the yeah. theatrical version of Three's Company 2. Mm-hmm. I think it was at the Houston Guild Theater. Yes, yes, great theater. What was that experience like? Man, that was uh, that was great, bro. That, I think um, that's that was the first time I felt that theater is. I think theater reminds us that we have life. You know what I mean? Because can you elaborate really? on that? Yeah, Explain how. Explain I can, how. Okay, so, you know, oftentimes actors get the, the the question. You know, what is it? What's better? What do you feel? better comfortable with being, yeah, uh, being I was an actor in film. Well, yeah. yeah, I was going to ask you that. Theater or yeah. film? What do you prefer yeah. and why? You know, when, you, when you're when behind the curtains and you see people coming, you don't see them because there's a curtain. You can probably pick a little bit, but people coming in and you feel the their presence, you know, and you're going to you know, show. And even if you rehearse the energy thousand, of the audience. Energy, exactly. And even if you rehearse thousand times or petitions or whatever, right, right. you still have these nerves because the <laughs> lights and, and there's darkness. You don't see nothing. And, you know, why life? Why is theater life? I think every act, every uh, in, in the audience, you always have people sitting there. Every person comes there for, for, for something. They're, everybody's looking for something when they go to theater. Somebody they wants laugh, to enjoy. They somebody wants to get the enjoy, drama story. Somebody, exactly. Somebody maybe just had a cry. fight. Yeah, somebody maybe just had a fight at home and they just want to, you know, they just want to, you know, just relax, yeah, yeah. whatever. Take them out of their reality. Exactly. Somebody maybe lost somebody and there was the person's favorite play or whatever and yeah. they just want to, you know, remind themselves that the person was alive a couple mm -hmm. of weeks or a couple sure. of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the moment when, if you can um, catch and find the connection between your character and the audience, if you can catch them, because, you know, sometimes you watch a play and it reminds you of your situation. You know, maybe not now at the moment, but maybe you've done something uh, back then that says, oh, I had the same situation. Maybe you see a, uh, you see a daughter and father situation, and mm -hmm, you realize mm -hmm. the father didn't pay so much attention yeah, attention sure. to the daughter, and you're like, "Oh, I did the same thing. I should I, I should change that." And mm -hmm. and you change it. You you realize you realize that uh, important things in life need to be changed sometimes if you're doing something sure. wrong. You know, but the same working. Let me switch it up. Exactly. Make yeah. It, make it work. Theater is just for me. It's it's yeah. It's different. It's so different, to you, yeah. theater is is a better experience personally I think that's than film. yeah because that's alive you know you you can't you can't stop the take you can say okay take one take two this and that for me in film for me in film what matters the most is uh, between action and cut that's what matters for me the most because the actual acting actual acting part yeah, of it because you know not sitting around uh, waiting makeup, for your scene of course because makeup, makeup and, and microphone and this and that and that's obviously that's it's the most part of you the process it. it's part of the process but for me, uh, but what excites you moment. is actually exactly action. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Boom. You know, you can't wait. You can't wait to 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 get that point when we knew when the director says action, it gives you something, and then you you just go with it. You know, but I think theater uh, is just more joy. It's like more personal, more it's physical. Heart, it's yeah. also physical. You know, film is different because physical uh, mm -hmm. film is really you know you just gotta be. Yeah. Shoot your Everything shot, is in right? post production. Exactly, yeah. you, you, know? you have Edited. to be more. Yeah, but uh, but theater, it's just and and it's all about it's it's also friendship. It's trust in your partners because yeah. if somebody mess up, if somebody mess up something, the you're whole show up. is messed up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, man. You gotta be on point, man. That's, that's but uh, yeah, I, I love, honestly for me it's fifty fifty. I, I love so both. So it's fifty fifty. Yeah. Let's just yeah. say. Yeah. 
one of your most pleasurable experiences on film, and from what I gather, was Family, the overseas yeah, smash hit yeah. TV show. That was yeah, which is yeah. basically the Friends version overseas. Exactly. Yeah, it started 1990 of nine, 19, and it's still on, still on, man. still going, still on. Oh, wow, that's crazy. yeah, smash hit. Um, you you know, for me, I, I always remember Family as uh, like something that really inspired me to move, you know, to to keep going because. Um, when I started, I was doing short films in Belgium when I was 19 and this and that. And that was the first time I booked the job through a casting director and they paid me money and everything was professional. Wow. And, and, and I was in four episodes. And I remember when I was going to the gym, people recognized me. Oh my God, you were in family. Cause I played, <laughs> I played Gino. I played the Italian guy. <laughs> I was the son of the, mo one of the mobsters who uh, were, was playing in the season. And, um, that was great, man. And people were like, friends were, you know, sending me screenshots and I saw you this and that because everybody, everyone's watching. Everyone's mm -hmm. watching. Yeah, family, you know? Big hit. It was yeah, a smash yeah, hit TV uh, show. Yeah, so it that, that's, smash it is hit. still, in yeah. Belgium, everybody knows, especially, uh, you know, um, people in Antwerp, uh, everybody knows the film, the TV, this TV show. So, yeah, that got me into, uh, it inspired me. It was fascinating to be in that TV show, to be honest. I was really honored and I was really happy. Yeah. So, Bond, I read that you speak five different languages. Is that true? Thank you. I speak Brooklynese, one language. <laughs> Are you lucky if you even Man, do that right. When everybody, uh, yeah, I know it in 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 the United States, it's it's a big thing. To speak five languages, but you know, I I yeah, was just it's lucky, amazing. I guess, because in Belgium, everybody speaks Dutch and French and even German. You know, uh, because Dutch and German is really close. So you didn't familiar. take these languages in school? N not specifically you just for picked that. It up? I, I was just. I mean, when you live in Belgium, you have listen. In Brussels, they speak French, and in right. in Antwerp, they speak uh, uh, Dutch. And literally, it's just thirty five miles away from from wow. the uh -huh. part. You know wow. what I'm saying? And you have That's friends who speak close. French, you know, friends who speak Dutch, and I speak Georgian, and you know, I speak some Russian because I have a lot of friends that are not from Russia, but like uh, from Afghanistan. Da. My best friends, da, da exactly, da. <laughs> da. Yet, короче, yeah. Yet. <laughs> so I speak some Russian, and I, yeah, привет, yeah. <laughs> So that's that's how, you know. Uh. So, uh, yeah, we're almost on the verge of war with Ukraine and Russia situation happening. You were born in Georgia. I know in 20, 2008, Russia invaded Georgia. Yeah. Were you still there for that? I, I mean, I was there, but I, we, 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 we went to Belgium. We moved to Belgium in 2000, but uh, it was in August. And um, my parents, we, we went to Georgia for vacation, obviously, because every summer... That's that's like a tradition for my family, um, and I remember my my parents they had 15 years of anniversary and um, mm -hmm. we had a party and I remember I was, that's a tough that's a tough topic man I remember my my grand my grandmother how old were you me. I was like 14 years old 14 oh. yeah wow you were a young boy I was young, young teenager yeah, man uh, my grandmother was screaming uh, when she was like yeah Russians attacked us this and that. Damn. And the thing was, uh, I was born in Tbilisi, but um, my mother is from uh, a part where Sta Joseph Stalin was born. You know, Joseph Stalin was mm -hmm. a Georgian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So was he? I didn't know he that. Was I was unaware yeah. of that. He was a fully and Georgian. I'm aware of Stalin. Stalin. Yeah. I just didn't I know where he was, he was from. Do you, you guys didn't know? Yeah. No. He was a Georgian. Man. He was a Russian. Georgia didn't exist. Yeah, but like his blood, his parents yes. were Georgian. Yeah, so because he left Georgia when he was eighteen years old. Oh, okay. Before eighteen, he was in wow. Georgia. So, uh, and Gori, that's that's a, that's a village um, where my where my grand grandparents are coming from, mm -hmm. and that's I guess the, the the damage was in that city. They were literally just you know, did everything you can do to the city, you know. And thank God it wasn't, you know, it, it didn't took so long, as long as in Ukraine right now. But yeah, man, I, I saw, I, I saw crazy stuff, man. The, 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 the crazy stuff that I saw was, um, we're driving and uh, uh, there was, there was a military car, a Jeep on a guy. You know, you know, and uh, crushed a guy literally. He, he was alive. He was just yeah. He couldn't move. And then my father went out and all this, you know, other other men, other people, and just trying to, you know, take this car and turn it around. Uh, yeah, and he, obviously he survived. But my father told me that somebody told him that he lost his leg. You know, mm. uh, later wow. On. Yeah, uh, my uncle got shot. You know, 
Wow. Yeah, and but he survived. And my, I was crazy. I so was crazy, man. You mentioned your uncle getting shot. Yeah. Was he part of the Georgian military fighting the Russians, or was he just an armed citizen armed protecting c- his armed land citizen. and country? Exa- armed citizen. Oh, yeah. armed okay. Citizen. All right. We, we had a lot of people just going there. You know, Georgians. Listen, not because I'm Georgian, but I think. Georgia always had like strong enemies, always. And uh, Georgia is a very, very old country with big history. You can Google it seriously. Like um, it's it's very old, and it's when 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 there's a tough time, everybody comes together. You know, and, as it and oftentimes, be. and oftentimes, sure, as a young man. person, I always thought about that. What if, you know, what, what if tomorrow I have to go? You know what I mean? Yeah. And at this moment, my heart says I will go there a hundred percent because. It's not only about me loving my country, but you realize when somebody comes into your country and wants to do a damage, it's yeah, against yeah. your Take family mm-hmm. and friends. Mm-hmm. And for me, my family and friends is everything. Gotta come life. first. Yeah, gotta if I don't have first. my family and friends, my life is Absolutely. gone. My exactly. life is done. You yeah. know, it's nothing. Yeah, it's dust. So, but defend, but the other thing up. is, but the other thing is, to be honest, when the moment co- comes and that you have to go to war, that's another question. Because it's easy to say right now because yeah. everything is perfect. Yeah, in Georgia, man. everything is good right now. I mean, I, I, we don't have any... Uh-huh. It's okay, you know, uh, comparing to what is happening in Ukraine right now, Ukraine. But yeah. right now, I would say I would go there and fight like a, like a, every Georgian should go in and defend. But, right, right. but defend the, the thing is, you know, sometimes you have, I, for, for Georgians, we always say freedom. It's in Georgian word, it's Tavi Supleba. Freedom is for Georgians everything. When you touch absolutely, that subject, I'm a big when, freedom when guy. To, when you're gonna break not only it, for Georgeans, my friend, you know, for no, big yeah. freedom guy. for us, freedom is everything. You freedom know, everything. is everything. We die for freedom. Freedom you know? is yeah. everything. The problem is, yeah, exactly. freedom is not even free. No. Yeah, exactly. You always have to fight true, for it. True. You know? So, uh, the elite uh, that, out there in yeah, the world, they're always yeah, trying man. to take it. Yeah, and that's the thing. And I remember, um, I had it so tough because when everything was done and we went back to Belgium. I had mental problems. I remember they they hired somebody. I had a new really? teacher that was talking to me tw- twice a week. And I'll be very honest. I'll be full transparency. I yeah, I, had, I had even fights. I remember some of the guys were discussing with me who was right, who started bullshit. You know what I mean? My wow. country got fucked up. And you're telling Your me... Your country got invaded exactly. by another right. country. And you're telling and me who was you. right. <laughs> Listen, I don't give a fuck about politics. That's no. not my job. You no. know, I just it's know about that freedom. my, my people about got... Principles and, somebody and the came right into thing. my country and, you know, they, they gave me some damage and my people. The only people, people that actually that. care about politics exactly. are politicians. Yeah. So I needed <laughs> probably like two months to let go and just, you know, breathe again and just think about that. And uh, But now, and honestly, I hated everything about russia back then but now i realize russia for me is enemy the country russia for me from my people is it's enemy that's that's a fact you know what i mean i have some friends from russia that are living in new york i love them shout out to them seriously Uh, perfect great great people and they say the same thing they say it's it's bad what they're doing you know what i mean it's it's bad but you know as an american i'll tell you that the american government is essentially the enemy of the rest of the world, yeah. of the American yeah. people, between the taxation, between everything happening. You know what's bad, Steve? In life, it's o- it's always been like this. Uh, you have no, none of people. the civilians want war. It's always uh, yeah, true. War is it's bad to begin with. It's all about no. money. It's all about money. It's all That's about power. Correct. Power. And money. you know what's bad? I sometimes I always tell my friends. I always say, "What well, I I you know sometimes I want to have like like in the old times, you know, take a sword." And mm. just because <laughs> yeah, the thing is, you could be strong. You know, I always say not they're dropping bombs from yeah, drones. That's why we have a lot of, uh, we have really you know great uh, people in sports like in UFC and judo and wrestling and, and boxing. Great, great guys, you know, and yeah. and art. We're trying. I that's why I said we only four and a half million Georgians in the world, you know, and we're trying to represent our country in a good way. You I know hear what that. I mean? Sure. There's so almost there's about two and a half. Three million here in New York City alone. <laughs> I'm saying people. Jo- no, people. Yeah, people, yeah, yeah. So population. Population, yeah. So the thing is for me, you know, talking about war, war that is useless. What can yeah. you do to the war? War is always I mean, useless. Especially, yeah, especially to Russia. Up, what war's can you do? Up. Let's what move on do? to yeah. something a little yeah. bit more lighthearted. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's a yeah. little bit you, touchy. Do you have any crazy on set stories? Uh, you know, action. 
And then maybe an actor flips out or something. I don't know. Director gets mad at everybody. Man, I... <laughs> no names. We don't need names. Okay. Just the story. But if there's... his name is Harry, call him Bob. Yeah, but the thing <laughs> is that the person will realize, the person probably <sighs> watching... <laughs> You'll know know what what Nobody about. else is going to yeah. know. Yeah. No, I think... I don't want to get too deep into that, but I think some of the people on set are showing that they reach certain level. And they'll forget that they're still humans, you know what I mean? And mm. they just... They think they're without, bigger than life. Without realizing, there are some sometimes it's respectful. But, okay. God, is, but uh, God is big, yeah. God is huge. And the person now is in jail, you know what I mean? Oh, you see that? And not, be because, and not because he did something tough or something. No, because he's a shitty guy. And uh, mm. he did something that he don't do to a woman. And this and that. He sits now in the, oh, in, in the jail. But I don't want, but nothing really specific, you know, nothing really specifically that I can talk about. But uh, sometimes you meet the jerk offs, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You got assholes everywhere, my man. Yeah, you assholes are that. everywhere. Yeah, what are you gonna do? So, Bomb, we touched earlier, we touched upon the, um, the judo and the Muay Thai, the martial arts, right? So, obviously, you look like you're in top shape here, my friend. Thank you. Do you have. Like a routine. What's your workout routine? What's your eating schedule like? What's the deal? Tell tell the people out there uh, how to get in shape. Any pointers for people? That's a great question, man. And you, you get you get those questions oftentimes, you know, from friends, from strangers. Sure. Uh, and I, I always want to be honest with with uh, with how I respond because you know some people trying to be a little, you know, uh, careful what they say because I, but, but I, I rather want to be honest. With yeah. This, always you know? got to keep it real. Yeah. Got to be honest. Yeah, bro. First of all, it's all about discipline. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? That's, yeah. The, main, yeah, most that's the main thing. The, Can't be on and off. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people ask me those questions when the summer hits because they want to get in yeah. shape and this and that. That's already I, wrong. Yeah. That's already wrong. I love when people come to me and say, Listen, I had enough. And, you know, I have a great story why I actually started with uh, with uh, going to the gym. And, and you oh, know, I'm 6'3", and, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a big guy. Uh, I remember uh, my birthday when I was uh, going to turn 16. There was a guy uh, from Georgia. He's a great guy. Um, but he, he comes from a village in Georgia. He's a strong guy. He was uh -huh. a strong guy. And he came, uh, his parents, they, the parents used to live in Belgium and he was, he was on vacation in, in, in Belgium. And, and I invited him because my father was friends with his father. So cool. I said, yeah, come over. And I had like 20 feet, 25 people in my house, you know, and, you know, as a young kid, nice you're trying to be like, catch, a ch catch attention from, from girls and stuff like that. You know, you're young, 16 yeah. years old. So, but I, I was very skinny. I was told that I was very skinny, but my brother... Mm. Uh, he was, he was, a, he was, was there was, any bullying going uh, on? Maybe uh, classmates, no, uh, no, skinny not, boy, not that, skinny, because, skinny. No, no, that, because that, that, I was I'm already, saying sometimes that motivates people. Like no, people yeah. frown upon I know. bullying, That's what, but Hey, if you're fat, you fat boy, fat boy. Yeah. It, it, it might motivate you yeah. to, to lose, lose weight, weight or, or in this case, skinny might motivate you to, no, I, to work I get out it. and get bigger. That's, uh, you know, um, but I was all, I was already doing judo and, and they, I was, you know, I could handle myself. But, you know, some people are just skinny. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, it can be strong, yeah, yeah. but it could be skinny. Yeah. You know what I mean? It can mm -hmm. be athletic. But so, and then at a certain point, uh, we were talking about judo and very viciously and very, you know, politely, he said, and everybody was listening. Everybody was into this conversation. Uh, and all of a sudden he goes, yeah, if I wrestle with you, uh, you might break your bone. But he he meant oh. it. But he meant it. Oh. He he was not bullying me. He was he was he was. It good, was it was, it was bullying. It so was, it was, kind of uh, it was bullying. No, because he was from a village that he, he was just he just arrived in Europe and he was trying to make friends and stuff like that. Yeah. So and Steve, make friends. Come on now. I swear to God, I would I will never forget this. What I did. From that point, I'll kick your ass. That's that, not making oh, friends. I, I did. I'm just me. saying, I you did. know, that's not making for friends. For six months, from for six months, I was only eating nothing else. I was eating. Wow. I remember sometimes I was sitting for 40 minutes to finish my meal. Seriously, that that got me, man. Because you took that to heart. That what, what, oh my god! What were you eating? Oh, rice and chicken Everything. all day oh, long. Rice and chicken all day long. Healthy. But okay, to come back to your question, for me, first of all, discipline. And love of 
the lifestyle that's that's for me everything not not, not because you just want to look good for summer because that's bullshit mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. if somebody comes to me and says because of this or that i just want to change you know and help me with that and uh, trust me i'm a guy i will wake up in the morning for you i will come to you and as you as my, as my friend i will be, be with you and just you already do, told me you'll seriously. hold the pads we uh, can yeah, do well, boxing course, training yeah, I, yeah. oh man i love I, I love it that's my life but for me uh all my life wake up in the morning eight o'clock Sometimes when you're young and you go you go out or whatever and you come three o'clock at night and you obviously you can't sleep only three four yeah, hours but no, I do yeah. then I I wake up in the morning seven eight seven eight o'clock I get my oat milk I get my protein shake and I go back to bed and I sleep that if that's mm. the case but I'm I'm not going I'm not a party guy I'm not really going for some drinks and stuff like that I'm not I'm yeah. into that so for me it's always routine work out like a beast seriously and yeah. I'm not I'm not talking about uh, you you never have to compare yourself with anybody else. I'm not. It's not. I'm mentioning beast. I'm not saying I'm the I'm the strongest guy and you can do the same. No, you just can, go hard. You can, just you can, go hard in kid, any way. Yeah, you gotta go as, hard. As a seven year old, you can go and train as a beast. Yeah. Beast for me means somebody that really commits. Yes. Yeah. Dedicated. To, to dedicated. You got to, the willpower exactly. to consistently do it and keep exactly. up with the routine. Yeah. Absolutely. When you tell your kid and you train a kid and you tell you say there's a couple of feet you have to run from this and that you know you can you can say please go go fast as fast yeah, as possible yeah. and they go you know what i'm yeah, saying they put that face and on you me. can tell some <laughs> kids are lazy some kids because they're not really motivated you know what i'm saying for me it's discipline and the most important thing food you know uh when i prep myself well you know when it's summer i'm always you know wear that and, or if i'm prepping for a part of a role then it's just no carbs. The only carb I take is some quinoa before workout that's an hour and a half quinoa. before i go to the gym quinoa and that's it. Nothing else. And after so that, that's big protein, in carbs. But pro, yeah, protein. That's the only carbs I'm taking. And after that, after the workout, I'll eat three times every two hours, but only protein and uh, green uh, green ve- um, veggies. But veggies, but like greens, like broccoli, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, green beans. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, asparagus and uh, yeah, stuff like that. So you mainly yeah. get all. Your essential vitamins and everything through foods, no protein shakes. I take, of course, no, I yeah. take he protein, protein shakes shake. shake. yeah. in the morning. Uh, protein shake in shake, the morning. No, I missed it. Uh, yeah, protein shake in the morning, and uh, I might take a uh, protein shake. No uh, supplements, before. no other supplements, no, nothing. nothing. Uh, I I tried creatine that was back in the days, but it creatine, you know, it yeah. was uh, it was uh, creatine was really uh, not for you. Didn't it's work not. out for me really well because you know, it's holding you water and uh, no, I I, th- I it's think not for everybody. Everybody, no, has, yeah, yeah, man, I think you can really reach. Uh, a, a per, I mean, perfect. It's 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 a hard to say perfect, but it's a beautiful maximum word. Maximum potential. A, a good a good result with uh, dedication, discipline, uh, and you can build up a nice routine. But yeah, man, you gotta love it, bro. Seriously, you gotta really love it, and not just go there for two months and just get yeah. ready for summer. Yeah, that's bullshit. Got, that's, yeah, you gotta no, love it. You gotta, you, dedicate know, you gotta dedicate yourself and, and your life to it. You know, yeah. I, I'm thank. I'm hoping I'm gonna be you know uh, healthy. I want to see myself over. 20, 30 years, you know what I'm going to look like when I'm going to be 60, 70 years old. I'm still going to, I'm still going to work out. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Hey, hopefully you could keep it up that yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Big hope up so. to you thank for God. working yeah. out, man. Yeah, thank you. But brothers. so thank you're you. in the gym five, six, seven days a week. What, how, what? when I so when I was you 20, need some 22, off days. You well, know, you I, gotta, I was going body seven gotta times. Body got to recoup, right? But now I'm going five days a week, five days a week. And if I have time, sometimes I go twice a day because I love to go in the morning empty stomach to do my cardio. Ah. And I don't do a lot of cardio, like 25 minutes, it's enough, but I go fully, you know what I mean? Right. And I always, when I work out in the gym, and that's, I want to, people are, you know, interested in that. I always do supersets. That's what I believe. I uh, Oftentimes I see people in the gym. Describe talk, talk. a superset for the people superset who don't know. Superset means when, when you do an exercise, uh, you can do three different exercises and, and meaning do it do it at once without stopping, you know? Let's say if you do shoulder shoulders, a uh, mm-hmm. particular muscle, mm-hmm. you do three different uh, exercises for muscle and for for shoulders and for that particular uh, body exactly. part. If you're doing yeah. pull downs, military uh, presses, exactly three times, and, and then and then else. you rest for like a minute. You know what I'm saying? And then do it again. And that's when you sweat. That's when you really you know touch when the work the hardest. Exactly, because when you that's my belief. I'm not saying it's bad. It's everybody has right. Their own that's choice. just your everybody system. Has, exactly. Yeah, yeah. For me, uh, it sometimes, clearly works. Yeah. Sometimes I see people working in the gym, and they do one exercise, one set, and then uh, some friends are coming in, and ha- I'm watching, and they're talking for thirty minutes. I'm like, <laughs> wow. bro, you forgot. You to just train. ruined exactly. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah. wasted your time. Yeah, man. Music for me when I go to the gym. Music. 
and myself and just and kill just myself. Just get in the zone. Like, kill myself. And, you know, sometimes even me, and for me, that's my life. That's my therapy, everything. But sometimes even I feel uncomfortable going to the gym because you are you don't want to go. But So that's what's most important. Yeah, even you those still days, go. you still yeah. got to go. You still got to go. You know go. why? When you go, Willpower. you feel you feel, you know, better. you feel better. And when you come out you of the gym. You felt like shit walking in. Exactly. And then when you walk out, you feel yeah. accomplished. Yeah. When you come out, you're like, I did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's I agree. Bro. That's it. So, yeah. So, we're coming to the end of the show. Perfect. What I like yeah, to man. do is a little quick speed round, round robin, where I'm going to rattle off some topics, some names. Okay. You just give us your first impression, first thought, couple words, not okay. a whole back and forth debate discussion. No, I'll, I'll pick. Yeah, okay. Got it. I'll, I'll so be short. I'll we're going to start with the picture right behind you. Should I what? Should I take a look? You or? don't have to look. I'll okay. tell you. Okay. You, you, got, you got a bunch of people. Oh, okay. First one over here is Mike Tyson. Um, Powerful. Powerful. Yeah. Most certainly is. Heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Not you got champion. Tristan and Andrew Tate, the Tate brothers. Um... Complicated and interesting. Mm, okay. Most certainly interesting. They're in a precarious situation as yeah, of right now. Yeah. They're they're fighting in a two. Yeah, it's yeah. there's a war going on, I think. Between, yeah. yeah. <laughs> between them yeah. and the Matrix. We'll, we'll yeah. see. We'll yeah. see who wins. <laughs> yeah. We'll see who wins. In the Moving end. on, we got Donald Trump. Funny. Funny. Yeah, yeah, he's a clown. <laughs> I'll agree. <laughs> he's funny, man. He can be very funny at times. Yeah, yeah. man. He yeah. just likes to grab him by the pussy. Yeah. I think he's all the time. <laughs> he's, he's funny all the time, I think. Yeah. 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 He's Even entertaining. He's, to be serious. he's absolutely entertaining. Yeah. Jordan Peterson. Uh, I think he, smart. 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 Yeah. Most certainly. Smart. Good answer. Okay. Yeah. Pablo Escobar. <sighs> That's uh, that's beautiful, man. I gotta think about that. Okay, um, the people's champ, the people's man, champ. He was, yeah, I'll be. I'll say, otherworldly, man. Otherworldly, Other worldly, yeah. Okay, and, and right. rich, obviously, rich. Yeah. Yeah. Rich. yeah, yeah. Not anymore, but yeah, anymore, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, rich. all right. A special guy. The U.S. dollar or the euro? Oh, that's a tough question. Oh, <laughs> struck a nerve um, there. You know, you always you know more value, but I still take U.S. dollar because it's beautiful, bro. This this those bills are beautiful. Really, it's, you hear it's that? Very, Dead yeah. presidents. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, and it's old. It's it's you know it's diff it, it's it's different. All yeah. right, it's all specific. right. Feminism. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trick question. Nailed them with the feminism That's question. That's a very uh -oh. tricky question. Uh oh. Mm. Feminism. Uh, I would say um, interesting as well, special, and uh, complicated too. Okay. All yeah. right. Complicated. Definitely yeah. complicated. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> complicated. More like confusing. Yeah, yeah complicated. Uh, UFOs and aliens. Um, you know, sometimes I, I don't, unreal, real, I don't know, man. It's, I don't know. That's that's my answer. Nobody I don't know. knows. That's a good I answer know. too. Know. You know, yeah. that's a good answer. Yeah. So interesting. <laughs> thank you for being here, Bond. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. for being on the show, my man. Yeah, yeah. giving With us the, the time of day. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Very well. No, it was a pleasure, man. Seriously, I know. Like I said in the very beginning, you guys are rocking it, man. You guys are doing. So yeah, everybody thank you. Yourself. Appreciate. You know, Dakar Heisberg, everybody. So you know, Benny and Steve show. Benny and Steve show. Yeah, I'm man. really happy for you guys. Stage is all yours. Where can people find you? What do you got next going on for yes. you? Man, social media on Instagram, I'm Bando Giorgiano. That's my name on Instagram. Uh, there is a very interesting project that's going on right now. I'm going to Europe for, for 11 weeks. I'll be out there and oh, working. Nice. And, and also nice. seeing my family. I'm really excited. I can't say a lot about that project, but it's 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 beautiful, man. Um yeah, and, and that's it. That's what kind of project? Is it a play? Is uh, it a movie? Is no, it a TV it, show? It's a TV show. It's oh, a TV okay. show. Yeah, All right, cool. Uh, yeah. And that's that's my first lead, especially. Lead like, role lead in role. a TV yeah, show. TV show. Oh, Congratulations, wow. man. Congratulations. For that. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Really well, excited. for you, man. Really excited about that. So we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Awesome. Yeah, and thank you again, guys. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. you thank you, my best. man. All right, Bon. My man, good luck and God bless. <laughs> thank you. On all thank your you endeavors guys. moving forward, my man. Thank you. Thank you. So before you go, 
Give us a shout out in the bunch of languages that you know. Ah, oh, that's nice. Is. That's nice. You know, since I lived in Georgia and in, in Belgium, I say it in Georgian and Dutch. And uh, most right, of go my, one at a time, yeah, and we make yeah. them a short and exactly. put them out there. Um, in Georgian, Khot Kartolebo, Zalia Magari Bichepiarienta, the subscribe it, Mati Kan Channelida, that's it, commentary, Tumogets or not, that's a shame. Also believed. Uh, subscribe uh, to the channel. One is an special news, and uh, I mention all the best to upcoming stars. Yeah, all right, bomb, baby. That's it. Thank you, thank you, man. And we out. Peace. Thank you, guys. You're thank, out. You. thank you. Thank you.